I'm comfortable right now sitting back here. In a pinch, I think this is great. If you stop real hard, I'm gonna be in trouble. Okay, so now I gotta get out. So you push the button and then push the whole thing. What is going on everybody? Today we are taking a look at the seven seater Tesla Model Y just delivered brand new in Michigan. We're actually in the Tesla garage to check this thing out. It hasn't driven at all. And first impressions, I gotta say, it looks really impressive. I'm really excited to try to sit back there. So I am five foot nine. I'm not all that tall, but I'm not super short either. And so I think I'll be able to fit back there, maybe not for a whole road trip, but just for hanging out back there for a short trip if we're in a crunch or something. So we're gonna get in and check this out. So this is Matt, this is his Model Y, hello. Hi everyone, hey Chris. He's taking delivery today, and you have a YouTube channel, you wanna plug that? Uh, I do, it's called Spark Spread, so we kind of focus on the energy side of Tesla's business and kind of try to explain that for investors and for Tesla enthusiasts, so that and some other finance stuff. But uh, today, mostly just excited to take delivery. Awesome, cool, congratulations. Thanks very uh, much. Check that channel out, I will put that down in the description below. Okay, so looking at the interior, you can see the back here with the seven, the two back seats up is actually pretty good uh, for cargo space. There's a little bit here. And if you have all those people in, you know, maybe not for a road trip, you won't be taking enough, uh, but you have enough to do what you need to do daily. Your other option is to get roof rack, Tesla sells them, or you can get second party from that. And you could store stuff on the roof for a road trip. Now, something really cool that they showed us today is specific to the seven seater. If you look here, you have kind of a bump here. And if you were to put these seats down, you can see that you have this bump and that might be in the way. But if you put them both down, you can flip this over, which is very cool. And now it's totally flat. So if you look here and you can see all the way up, it's just flat all the way up. So that's really good for hauling large cargo, whatever you need to move, uh, tons of space for that now. On the inside of the car, all the Model Ys now come with a heated steering wheel and it actually does feel really nice. So to bring it up, you open the climate and we were confused here, but <laughs> we have one smart person with us and uh, you click this secondary heating button here. You can see all your heated seats and this is the steering wheel. You can turn them all off or you can turn things on individually. So the second row also, along with the front row, does get heated seats. The third row does not have heated seats. To get into the third row, all you gotta do is you click this button right here and everything pulls up for you. The seats lift out of the way. That's actually motorized. I didn't know that. You can hear a little motor whirring. Uh, and then you can get in. Uh, I don't wanna mess up your seats here with my muddy no, shoes. Go ahead. You can... Are you sure? Yeah, no, I'm sure. I already stepped in. So okay, or, I mean, it is winter, so. It's winter, it's gonna happen. So to get into the third row, you just kinda step in here. So sitting in the back row, again, I'm 5'9". Actually, like, my head is touching here, but if I was to lean back, boom, there it is. Now we have the tailgate open, so we're gonna have to close that. But I wanted to point out, it's kind of strange because when that comes down, like if your head's there, it's gonna bop you in the head. And I don't think there's any sensor or anything to detect you and, and prevent that from happening. So gotta be careful with that one. But if you have little kids, of course they won't be that tall. So let's try it out. Um, we can close it. Watch your head. Yeah, I'm avoiding that. Okay, so here we are. And boom, I can, I am sitting up straight back here. Is there clearance? Yeah, there is. I can fit my head above. Here, let me see. If you don't mind, thank you. So here I am. I can barely, so this, this thing is like, <laughs> if, if you stop real hard, I'm gonna be in trouble because I'm gonna hit that real hard. But I do, I do, I'm comfortable right now sitting back here. This is not that bad. And there's, you know, kind of, I see a lot of comments online like, why would anybody want this? This is ridiculous. And it's like, it's for kids. And if you don't like it, you could just not click, you know, the seven seater option button. It's pretty simple. Uh, then it's $3,000 less. But I, sitting here, I'm way more excited than I was about this before. Because I'm never, you know, if I, if I end up with a seven seater Model Y, I'm never gonna be sitting here. But to have a couple kids back here or a kid back here, or you have to make a quick run somewhere with some friends, this is cool. This is great. And I'm surprised they could fit it back here. Well, at the same time, if you're not using this area, you still have almost the exact same amount of cargo room because you can just put the seats down. So yeah, this is, this is really exciting. Oh my gosh, you know what? I didn't even put this back. Let's put this back. Make sure I'm still comfy back here. Okay, yep, I do still have room. I'm hitting my head a little bit. Wait, okay. So sitting up straight, this is, you know, I got room for my knees here. My feet are under the seat, but I can move them around and they are a little tight. So I wasn't thinking before, I didn't even have this back, but no, still, I'm good. Uh, I slouch a lot anyway. I'm very kind of slouchy. <laughs> um, so that helps me fit here and 
still bumping my head, but yeah, I do, I do technically fit back here. So I'm still just as excited. Okay, so now I gotta get out. <laughs> I'm confused by this. Do you just push it? I think it's this thing. Oh, no, that's not it. <laughs> so you push the button and then push the whole thing? Yeah. Try one more time. I'm scared, I don't wanna break anything either. <laughs> Oh, did this not? Maybe is that because... the only one that does it? Then? No, this one does it for sure. This is where I got in. Maybe because yeah. I didn't pull this back far enough. Yeah, is it not locked in there? I mean, that doesn't make... like it is. That doesn't make sense though. Oh, oh there you go. go. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that was my fault for not pulling it back all the way. It had one more little click to go. So now that this is out of the way, I'm also trying to keep his car clean. Ugh. Boom. We could maybe use a handle or something there, uh, but I got out. I'm not the most nimble person in the world <laughs> and it was okay. So again, in a pinch, I think this is great. Let's show you an example of somebody that doesn't fit. I'm um, just 5'11 and a half um, and I can't put my head up straight here. Uh, so my knees are definitely touching. I'm kind of at a strange angle and definitely I, I could not do this for more than say a five minute ride because I got to kind of put my head like this. Yeah, that's nice. So, you know, if I slouch, kind of put my knees up like this, then I can kind of fit, but it's going to be an uncomfortable ride. So uh, depending on your height, sounds like 5'9 probably would help. Yeah. If you're much taller than that, I wouldn't recommend trying to sit back here. Okay, so 5'9 is the cutoff. I think so. All right, I'm happy about that. Let's see you get out. Oh, not, see, not super graceful, but... No, but you, I mean, you got right out. No big deal. And graceful is a word I would use with you. <laughs> One other seven seater specific that I thought was pretty cool is there's a little handle down here. And if you click that, it will drop your seat for you to help with cargo storage. And that is on both sides. You also, just like in the five seater, have the buttons right here. And you can press those as well to drop the seats. But it is spring loaded, so to bring them back up, you have to manually pull it up. The back seats get cup holders, USB C charging, and also leather armrests on both sides for both passengers. So you really do get the full experience sitting in the back. It's just that the seats and the overall area is a bit smaller. I gotta say, also being in the back seat, you'll get the best view of the all glass ceiling out of anybody in the car. All right, so I messed up my audio live, so I gotta do a quick voiceover. But overall, the seven-seater Model Y was very impressive to me. Now that I've seen it in person and experienced it for myself, I actually really enjoyed it. And this is the kind of thing that if you need this, you're gonna know that you need it, and this is the answer, and you're really gonna enjoy it. I think that you should probably still go test drive it, go check one out, check out those seats. The average height in the US is actually about five feet, nine inches tall. So most people will actually fit in that rear row. But like if you have kids or whatever reason that you think you want this car, uh, you're gonna know and you're right. <laughs> this, is, this is the one, it is a very cool experience. A huge shout out to my buddy Dave Simons for editing this video. Please check out his YouTube channel, maybe subscribe. He does camera reviews and other tech stuff and he is just an amazing editor. So thank you again so much. If you have any questions that I did not cover in this video, please leave those in the comments down below and I will answer you. I hope you enjoyed this one and you will see me in the next video.